what we're going to try to do is trip the generator, meaning I want to try to put more power into it than it can handle. And so what I have here is a food dehydrator. I'm going to plug in. All right, so we have the dehydrator plugged in. And by itself, the dehydrator, that's a couple hundred watts, will charge, will discharge the battery all the way down. So you'll be able to run this for, you know, over, well over an hour. If I plug in the high power crock pot, we should see this start to beep because now there's too much wattage. This is over five to 600 watt hours going into a 288 watt hour device. And so the safety switch within the King generator will automatically turn, turn on and you'll see a small beep and it'll freeze at whatever um, charge level is left. If I just unplug, for instance, the, the crock pot and leave in the generator, we'll let it cycle. I'll turn it back on, on the very back, and it will go ahead and charge the dehydrator perfectly fine. The de dehydrator has a heater in it as well, so this pulls a ton of wattage. So if you're getting a beeping sound, one of the main causes, if not the predominant cause for that to happen, is you got too much watts going in to such a small device. Okay, now, one thing that we want to show you is, we're gonna keep this the camera on that. Is you can actually charge the unit while something is being plugged in. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. I'm gonna charge the generator. You see in the very back. Um, go ahead and I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna charge this generator. Okay. Now, when I'm charging this, the power button is not gonna not gonna turn on or turn off, so nothing's gonna work back there. Okay. The but you notice that even though the display is off that the dehydrator is still on and you can still hear it, it's still running, and this is a, a bypass system. So this will automatically go ahead and continue to charge the device and run fully the power as this is plugged into the AC. If you wanna see this light up and the, uh, the, of where your charge is at, you can just push the DC button, show that it's 97%. If I left this running over the course of the next hour, however long it will take the, the fully charge, you'll see that this will fully charge and the dehydrator will continue to stay on. So this will, like again, the current will bypass charging this and continually running your device. Therefore, a great opportunity is you can always run devices while being charged at the same time, which will save uh, time and hassle as you're preparing um, to use your generator in the future.